I knew this was the wrong way. I mean, the next left of Harvey, the sitting ducks here. Get this car moving now. The assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand. On June 28, 1914, in Sarajevo, Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his beloved wife Sophie were shot down and killed by Bosnian Serb student Gavrilo Princip while they were driving through Sarajevo in an open carriage. This cold blooded act of violence was committed due to the perceived threat that Ferdinand posed to the independence of Serbia. This tragic, sudden, and brutal assassination was a big event that ultimately led to the outbreak of World War I. This one assassination has changed the world greatly and still affecting us even today. Archduke Franz Ferdinand Karl Ludwig Joseph Maria of Austria was born on December 18, 1863. Franz was the oldest son of Archduke Karl Ludwig of Austria and the younger brother of Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria. Following the death of Crown Prince Rudolf in 1889, the death of Karl Ludwig in 1896, Franz became the heir of the Austro-Hungarian throne. The 1910s expressed the climax of European militarism, which had its head start in the second half of the 19th century. The traditional lifestyles and alliances going on in Europe were forever changed after the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand. The war's ending brought a demise to many monarchies and the destruction of the four last modern empires of the time. Germany, Austria, Russia, and the Ottoman. The decade was also a time for uprising. The Mexican Revolution, where they added a dictator, Porfirio Diaz, was turned into a violent civil war in the mid-1920s. Although this is not from Europe, it is an interesting turn of events. The Russian Empire had a similar demise since its participation in the Great War. The events in 1905 created the Russian Revolution and the making of the Communist Party. The Russian Revolution of 1918, dubbed the October Revolution, followed in a civil war in the 1920s. Many of the music in this decade were barroom themed. Much of the restaurants at the time had dance floors. On the morning of June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife arrived via a train in the city of Sarajevo, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Europe. As the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, Sophie, were driving through Sarajevo in an open carriage when Bosnian Serb student Gavrilo Princip shot two close-range shots, killing Franz Ferdinand and his wife. These two shots changed the world in ways people can't imagine. Brutally harming and wounding the Archduke heir to the throne and his wife, Sophie, the Duchess of Hohenberg. Gavrilo Princip was in a group of Bosnian assassins, including Mohamed Mehmed Basic, Trivko Grabez, Vasil Kubrilovic, Sivajetko Popovic, Nedelko Kabrinovic, and planned by Danilo Ilic. All of them, with the exception of one, were Bosnian Serbs and members of the revolutionary group dubbed Young Bosnia. The objective of the assassination was to free Bosnia and Herzegovina from their Austro-Hungarian rule. The team that orchestrated the assassination was helped by the Black Hand, a covert Serbian nationalist group, their support from Dragutin Dmitrievic, who was the chief of military intelligence division of the Serbian general, as well as Vojislav Denkosic and Raid Malo Babic, a Serbian intelligence agent. Vojislav supplied pistons and bombs to the assassins and trained them how to use them effectively. The Sarajevo trial was on October 1914, where all nine plows were found guilty. Although Mohamed Mehmed Basic escaped to Montenegro, 
Southern Europe. Before being smuggled into Serbia, the eight plotters left were given the highest sentence possible under Hasbrook law, but a plotters over 20 at the time of the assassination meant death penalty. Ilic, Jovanovic, and Velko Kubilovic were all executed in Sarajevo on February 3, 1915. The remaining plotters, Princip, Kabrinovic, and Grabez all received 20 years in prison, which is the maximum sentence for anyone under 20 years of age. Princip, Kabrinovic, and Grabez all died to tuberculosis. But Stevio Jekyll Popovic and Veso Kubrilovic lived long lives. Popovic died at 84 in 1980, and Kubrilovic at 93 in 1990. The assassination extremely inflated the existing traditional religion-based ethnic hostilities in Bosnia. In Sarajevo itself, Austrian officials encouraged violence against Serbian residents, which culminated in anti-Serbian riots of Sarajevo. When Bosnian Muslims and Catholic Croats damaged many Serb-owned buildings and killed two Serbians, writer Ivo Andre called this violence the Sarajevo frenzy of hate. These acts of violence weren't only in Sarajevo, but in many other Austro-Hungarian cities, which many are now modern-day Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Austro-Hungarian officers in Bosnia and Herzegovina imprisoned around 5,500 Serbians, 700 to 2,200 of them who died in prison. 460 Serbians were sentenced to death, and most of them were Muslim. A motion on a shoes corp was settled and executed the maltreatment of Serbians. On July 28, 1914, one month after the Archduke and his wife Sophie were assassinated by Serbian nationalists in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Austria, declares war on Serbia. Threatened by Serbian aspiration in the hectic Balkan regions of Europe, Austria-Hungary was determined to properly respond to the assassination of the Archduke by preparing for a military invasion of Serbia. After ensuring support from Germany, Austria-Hungary presented Serbia with an ultimatum on July 23, 1914, demanding, along other things, that anti-Austrian propaganda should be suppressed and Austria-Hungary but allowed to handling its own investigation into the Archduke's assassination. Although Serbia accepted all of Austria's demand, with the exception of one, the Austrian government destroyed diplomatic relationships with the country on July 25th and started its military preparations. Meanwhile, Russia alerted about the impending crisis being Serbia's mighty supporter in the Balkan region, began its own military preparations against Austria. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand is remarkable because of its lingering effects. Obviously, the main impact of the assassination led to the outbreak of the First World War. It set off a string of numerous war statements because of alliances that have been formed. Additionally, the assassination gave Austria-Hungary the opportunity to settle some old scores and declare a war on Serbia that became a political commotion between European powers. And that provoked a chain of events which led to the outbreak of the First World War. It indirectly led to World War II when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, so in retaliation, the U.S. created the first atomic bomb. And this is how one assassination changed the world forever.